Hey, but I'm back with my IP recap for Pittsburgh Pirate Fan Fest in 2019. So I had uh, vouchers for all the autograph stations, and I got a lot of autographs walking around too, and the season ticket holders lounge. So let's get right into it. The first autograph group of the day was Corey Dickerson, Bill Mazeroski, and Stephen Brault. I put three out for Dickerson, and I'm sorry, I put two out for Dickerson because, uh, I'm a big fan of Heritage, so I want to make sure I got these two Heritage cards signed to knock those out. Then I put two cards out for Bill Mazeroski, and he did two with no problem. He looked like he was a sign, whatever. He didn't really seem like he cares. So, happy about getting that. It's a great all-time part. And then I got Steven on his Heritage. And then, right after I got out of that line... Uh, I noticed Joe Musgrove walking around. He was about to do a radio appearance, so I asked if he could sign real quick. I had a page of six, and uh, he said he had to go, but he did one real quick. So he did this tops, 18 tops update, I believe. So then I waited for the uh, radio interview to end, and he was doing two per for everyone. He's just a really nice dude. So he hit the uh, 18 Heritage uh, update, and then uh, he hit this. Uh, I believe 16 Bowman rookie. So, kind of bummed he didn't get the 17 Heritage update, but it's cool. And then I asked Jordan Lyles. He walked by me to go do the kids signing, so he did one of one of three for me real quick. And I saw Kevin Newman walk by me too, basically do the same thing. So he signed one for me real quick too. Then I went to the alumni signing, the first alumni signing of the day, which those were free for the public. So sometimes those lines got a little crazy. The first two, uh, Bob Robertson and Dick Grote, they were private only for the season ticket holders that were there, but then the rest were open to the public, but they all were free. So I got Bob Robertson on two. And then I saw Ray Searage walking around, so I got him on two. Felt bad. He uh, actually had like a little brace on his hand. I didn't realize it when I asked him. So he was still nice enough to sign. And then I went back up to where the autograph paid for signs were happening, and Kyle Crick walked by me, so he did one for me real quick. Also happened to see Joey Cora walk in, so I got him on too. And then the next autograph signing group was uh, Cricked, Jordan Lyles, and Jung Ho Gung. So I really didn't bring a bunch for Crick because in my experiences with him in the past when he was in AA, he wasn't exactly uh, dropping pages. So I only brought a few things for him. He doesn't really have a ton of cards anyway. But got him on the 14 Pro debut, so he did one for me. And then Jordan Lyles, he did the last two cards I had for him. So that was nice. You sign whatever at the autograph station. And then Jung Ho Gong, I put three out for him. So he did this Bowman uh, 15 Heritage. And then what I'm really happy about the 17 Heritage, that's like my main set. And he was cool. Uh, Jung Ho was signed basically whatever you put in front of him. So that was really nice. And I actually dropped like one of my future vouchers on the table in front of him. He like grabbed on my shoulder and like pointed down because he doesn't speak English very well. So. It's pretty helpful. Made sure I didn't lose my ticket, so that was nice. Then uh, in the season ticket holder lounge area, they had Lion Chisholm Hall, who was also signing in a group later, so I didn't put all the stuff I had out for him, just because I knew I'd get him later. But he did 3-3 three three for me in the season ticket holder lounge, no problem. Then I hopped in the Bill Madlock line. He's actually one of the alumni I've never gotten before. I have an autographed baseball of his that my dad got me for Christmas probably about 10 years ago now, but I've never actually got him in person myself, so that was nice. It's kind of it's a dark spot, dark card, so it's hard to see, but in person it looks pretty nice, so how to get Bill Madlock? And then uh, I happened to see Colin Moran. He was actually, in retrospect, walking to the season ticket holder lounge, but I was running around trying to go get my other autograph group. But while he was walking, I got him to sign a two or three for me real quick. So he did his uh, Tops Now card, the Grand Slam on opening day in Pittsburgh. 
and then he did the high number heritage for me. He's another guy I didn't bring a ton for because in the minor leagues he was only doing one or two per. But, yep, and then I saw Jason Martin walking around, so I got him to do my Altoona Curve team set card. And he was really cool, really nice, really talkative. And then I went into the Seen Ticket Horror Lounge and I got Gregory Pronko. He was actually doing at least three. He did three for my dad, but I couldn't tell if he was doing more as it, the line progressed or whatnot. But I got there right at the end because my dad and I were doing different things, but he did three for me. So he did the Heritage, which I liked. And just did these two other random cards I put out. And the, that's the 14 minor league Heritage. Uh, and then I got Kevin Newman. He was also he was in the next signing group with Clay Holmes and Josh Bell. So Kevin Newman, he did two two for me, no problem. I know in season two is his limit. So uh, so basically have every card of this dude that's been made signed so far. So it's all just kind of bonus for me getting him. And then same thing with Clay Holmes. I just put I just had these three kind of repeat cards, and he did them no problem. And then uh, Josh Bell, he did a page for me. At these signings, he just racks, so. Happy to get Josh. He's my favorite player on the team just because I've had so many interactions with him. He's such a nice dude. So, happy about that. And then somehow I forgot that I had the 16 pro debut of him, so happy to add that to the my main pro debut set. And that was Tops Now. Chips Queen. And then, of course got him on the Heritage, so happy about that. And then Jameson Time was in the Autograph Lounge for Take Holders, so I just put six out for him because he was going to be signing later in another group, so I just got him to do six of six, no problem for me. And I really love the Stars and Stripes, so that's a nice addition. And then also in the uh, Season Take Holder area, Corey Dickerson came. So I got there right at the end for that, and he did 3-3 three three for me, no problem. Kind of annoyed with myself, I can't find my uh, 18 base heritage card, where he's still in the Rays uniform. So I don't, I don't know what i did with that, but still happy to get him, and Eric Gonzalez was there. I've actually never gotten Eric Gonzalez before, so he did 5-5 five five for me, no problem. Most people weren't even asking him. So... I actually don't even know what type of set that's from, so that's kind of cool. And the next autograph signing was Nick Kingham, Jameson Tyon, and I believe, yeah, JT Brubaker. So I put four out for Kingham. That's a bit of a repeat, but then he did the three other new cards for me. He did the Heritage, which I love. He, did, uh, he actually had two cards in the 18 up update. He had his uh, rookie debut, and then he had his space rookie, so that's cool. And then Jameson, he did three other ones. These are all kind of repeat cards, but it's the Pirates collection. Can't complain. Then I got JT Brubaker on his Altoona Curve card. I don't know what I did with the indie set that he's in, but I have that lying around somewhere in my room. And then Kevin Newman was in the autograph signing, so I just got him on two more cards I had for him. And also Bob Block was there, so he did six of six for me, I believe. Uh, my friend, he kind of gave me all these cards of him, so. Nice to get these done. Then Al, I made it through Al Oliver's line. He did three of three. He's a super nice dude, so happy about that. Then I went through the next alumni, John Smiley. He did a page of nine for me, but one was for my friend. His, I believe, 89 Diamond King set, or 90 Diamond King set, and that was actually the last card in the set he needed signed. So, uh, Smiley put a really nice autograph on that for him, and then he signed the rest of my cards. So, that was success. John, Mr. Smiley's always been really nice, so. And then, uh, Colin Moran, he was doing a radio interview, and when he got done, I got him to do one for me real quick. And then, uh, the autograph signing for Lonnie Chisenhall, Cole Tucker... And Starlin Marte happened. I'd seen Cole Tucker a bunch of times throughout the day, but I've gotten him so many times already in the minor leagues, and I only had the two cards for him, so I, just, I knew I was going to get him later in the day anyway, so I didn't care. But 
last one for a line that I brought. And then I got uh, these two Cole Tuckers. That'd be, that's pretty cool. Care of set cards. And then Marte, he was actually signing whatever. So I was kind of, I couldn't really see what people were putting out for him. So I just put three out. So I got on 18 tops, 15 tops, and 18 heritage. But after he got done signing my cards, he, look, he was looking at my page, seeing if there was any more. So he was actually bracking in my dad uh, when I told him what Marte was doing. He did six of six for my dad. So, and then lastly, went for the last alumni, Sid Bream. He did two of three for me. Uh, yep, that's it. Overall, still a good day. Thanks for watching. Peace.